and in the locker room. Each guy has been going over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. Alongside Craig Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe DA less is more. And thanks for the report. Here are the five for the Clippers. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. Ivica Zubac is out there with Miles Bridges. And it's Wall in at the one. And for Sacramento. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Herter. Harris and Sabonis hold down the post positions for him. And it's Barnes in at the three slot. And the Kings look a whole lot different now than they did for most of the 21-22 season. And they were changes that had to be made. Now, here's Fox. He drains the quick shot. Fox has got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for Sacramento. And Wall kicks to George. Leonard, that's for two. Fires for three. And it's George missing. Now when a team suffers a playoff drought like the Kings have, Greg, you can expect some major moves. And you just hope they can find some stability, Kevin, moving forward. This is a team that's gone through 12 head coaches since the last time they made the playoff. And then the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul. a bonus the pass to Murray and there's the whistle illegal screen well, that's something you hate you're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset and that early foul could take you right out of it bridges outside off target from outside and Barnes has got the ball here for the Kings Fox looking it over. Murray finds Herter. Barnes screen on George. Six to shoot. Basket good. Physical D right there. But Herter's mentally tough. Never lost focus. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Zubats with the screen for Leonard. And the dunk by Zubats. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a facial. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg? Yeah, showing off the bunnies. Outside, Fox. Murray is screen on wall. Fox against Wall. And again, it's Sacramento converting. You get the sense Fox just improving with each game in terms of his pick and roll play. Figuring out his angles, knowing when to pull and when to try to split or turn the corner. And it's Leonard missing. Not the efficient start they were hoping for. Only one for four from the field. Fox, no good. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Wall passes to Leonard. The tray. He's now one for two with that bucket. Looking at his percentages over the years, Kawhi is an elite three-point shooter. I think Leonard deserves more credit for that. Now, here's Fox. Another miss by Fox. George passes to Leonard. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Fox kicks to Herter. 
down low. Sabonis with the bucket. Yeah, credit Herter recognizes where the help is coming from, finds the open man. George passes to Bridges. Clippers moving the ball around. Kick by Bridges to the paint. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. And the Kings making a change here. Davis has checked in. You know, almost every team has some kind of roster turnover in the offseason, so Greg, this time of year can be about getting familiar with your new teammates. Yeah, there's always a feeling out process this early in the schedule. It's about finding your team's identity, figuring out how all the pieces are going to fit. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stretch the defense a lot. Now, here's Fox. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Fox against Wall. It's Fox with the drive. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Back in 2020, De'Aaron Fox signing a massive extension, Greg. Five years and $163 million. Yeah, and Kevin, every NBA hopeful wants that second contract. Credit to De'Aaron for working his tail off and earning every penny of that deal. Smitty expectations have been so high for this Clippers team in recent seasons with the addition of Kawhi and the addition of Paul George and the other great parts around him. They've got a lot of terrific players, Kevin. On paper, they look playoff ready. So those expectations aren't so misplaced. And here is Fox after Paul George getting his three to go. Bridges against Murray. Fox from outside. It's rebounded by Leonard. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Sacramento. And, and they'll be doing their best to establish superiority over this club, something they failed to do a year ago. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. The Clippers shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Uh, let's see, GA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. Yeah, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin. <laughs> but give him credit. To battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive will. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Fox against Wall. Sabonis. Davis has the open look. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Davis has got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Sacramento. The Clippers trail. Bridges outside. Pass to Leonard. Leonard draws the double. Back to Bridges. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Bridges has got six. Good job of stepping up to the plate there. Seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. L.A.'s gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Leonard draws the double. On the wing, Bridges lets it go from deep. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Now, here's Fox. Six points for him. A bonus at the elbow. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Yeah, instinctively, too. Fox there looking to be a ball mover, a facilitator. And that's one reason why his team is playing well. Now, here's Leonard. He has five. Back to Wall. Takes it out to Leonard. Three pointer. And it's Fox with the rebound. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. 
and it's Davis missing. The Clippers have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Leonard with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Wall wide open. That falls. Nice feed that time from Leonard. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. So the Kings called timeout. They're first. Timeout. Over timeout. the last few seasons, 40. the Kings have been near the bottom of the defensive rating. And GA, that is a problem. Yeah, I think they've tried to address that a little in the draft, taking Davion Mitchell back in 21, but it's been a consistent issue in Sacramento. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Sabonis. Matu comes in for Murray. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for Fox. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Morris is checked in for Zubox. Batum comes in for Miles Bridges. Norman Powell's checked in for George. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for John Wall. Now, here's Monk. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Morris with the rebound. Leonard looking over the floor. Releases. Here's Batum. And the jam by Nicholas Batum. In the pick and roll, I like confidence. Leonard showing as a facilitator. His game just continues to ascend. Mitchell passes to Monk. High post, Davis. Leonard's there. Davis down low. He's covered by Leonard. That's miss number three for him. Now two for five from the floor. Sacramento grabs the miss. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Davis kicks to Mitchell. Good ball movement here by the Kings. Holmes setting the big for Monk. And Holmes throws it down. And how about Mark there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop a trust from your teammates. Leonard against Davis. Leonard attacking, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And the dunk was nice, Kevin, but the move he made to free himself up was a thing of beauty. It sure was, Greg. What a savvy play to get into position for that jam. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. That'll be his second foul of the game. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Pass to Monk. Takes a three. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. Here's Leonard. Morris finds Batum. And the three off target. The Kings trail by five. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. The pass to Mitchell. Or the three. No good on that one. The Clippers go the other way with it. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game, and they didn't do that defensively. It looked like there were communication Stop breakdowns out. all out. night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And now here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best teams from three-point land a year ago. The Clippers third. This is a team full of snipers. They consistently knock down outside shots that forces defenses to play up on them, which allows the rest of the floor to open up. And here are the Kings now. Seven-point differential. 
Passes it to Monk. The three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. In the corner, Powell with it. From outside the arc. Another miss by Batum. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Kings. Davis in the corner. Again, the miss by the Kings. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Leonard, the pass to Powell. Kicks it to Batum. Now Morris. Here's Jackson. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Clippers. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. And Holmes throws it down. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Now here's Leonard. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. And he uses the glass on the lane. And that's now nine points for Leonard. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Here's Holmes. He takes it in. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Here's Leonard, and it's Leonard with the jam. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Here's Monk. The Clippers get in the bucket. Lock at six. And there's the bucket from Medu. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Jackson kicks to Batum. Dishes it to Lennon. Over Davis. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for the Clippers. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking as determined as ever. We come back right after this. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Clippers, guys. What are your thoughts? Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. And then for the Clippers, Robert Covington's checked in for Morris. Batum comes in for Bridges, and Kawhi Leonard subbed in for Paul George. So with George on the bench, here's who Teron Lue's going with. The guard and off guard, filled by Jackson and Powell. And small and power forwards, Leonard and Batum. And it's Covington in at the center, locking down the middle. Jackson finds Leonard. Five to shoot with the drive. Wow, with that strength, if Kawhi wants to drive it, there's not much you can do to stop him. Sacramento's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And Kawhi Leonard with multiple finals MVPs, putting him in elite company. GA, not many guys have done it ever. The only other current players, KD and LeBron. That should tell you just how special the claw is. Nice play. Usually, Reggie prefers to initiate 
but this time gets it done off the catch. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. DeMontis Sabonis is one of the best passing big men in the league. He said, sharing the ball is contagious. Everyone feels confident and knows they'll get touches, which makes the game fun. And that can build chemistry on a young team. Kevin? And David, we know how important that is. And we thank you for your report. So he gets them both. There is so much young talent, Steve, in today's NBA. That being said, whose game should an up-and-coming player try to emulate? For me, Kevin, for the 25 and under crowd, the guys I love, Luka Doncic, unbelievable. Ja Morant, Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, and it's a whole slew of others. The shot by Powell, no good. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. And Davis can't get it to go. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Batuma screen on Mitchell. Leonard. That one a little long. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. The drive by Mitchell. He dishes it to Davis. To the middle, here's Holmes, shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's on Nicholas Batum. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. The Kings have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. And he knocks down the first one. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Zubats is checked in for Los Angeles. No good on the second free throw. And with the 15th pick in the 2011 draft, Kawhi Leonard wasn't highly touted coming out of high school or college. Uh, listen, even in the pros, recognition took a while. Uh, how about this? He won finals MVP and defensive player of the year before he ever made an all-star team. Now, one of the 75 greatest. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Powell dishes to Leonard. There's the lob to the hoop. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Mitchell against Jackson. Outside, Davis. On the wing, Monk. And Rashawn Holmes gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. That game is the first and last of their homestand. Batum finds Leonard. Batum sets a screen for Leonard. The Clippers need to get off a shot. A shot by Batum, no good. Sacramento's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. So a moment now to see the story on Davion Mitchell. Last season's performance for him. Last season chipped in 11 points per game. Four assists and two rebounds. Nothing about his numbers really jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. He understands his role. He accepts it. He's one of those guys who doesn't need the ball to be effective. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. And it's the Kings with the ball. The Clippers get in the bucket. Monk with the ball, guarded now by Jackson. Again, the miss by the Kings. The Clippers shooting around 60% on the night. Amazing work offensively so far. Powell, the pass to Leonard. Takes it inside. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. The offensive game of Leonard continues to get better. He's just so efficient on this end. Mitchell kicks to Holmes. The dish to Monk. 
And then Monk with the dunk. Wow, look at how quick he flashes to the rim there for the finish. Pass to Leonard. Sixteen seconds left to play in the first half. Zubac the pass to Leonard. Left side, Batum. No good with the triple. And so it's Los Angeles with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they've drained, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Here with Ty Lu, good rhythm for your offense in the first half. What did you like about the start? Uh, moving the basketball, taking the right shot, making the right play. We make the extra pass, we're a tough team to beat. And you were sure tough in the first half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you.